Hello, my people. Hello to all of you. Welcome to today's program. Good morning, good afternoon. It depends where you are watching from. Um, I would like us to discuss Ukraine a little bit. There are reasons for this video. You know, <laughs> today I receive a lot of messages. People, my followers, asking if all is well. <clears throat> It has been a while, they have not seen me on earth, if everything is good. My people, God is good. So, let me jump back to Ukraine politics that I'm about to discuss. Lots of us lot of us have been hearing about uh, the Ukrainian counterattack on Russia at the eastern part of Ukraine. Hello, Williams. <laughs> A lot of things has happened. This video will not be long. I will just go straight to the point, uh, just to alert all of you how the situation of things is. I've been watching Nigerian news. You know, they keep on lying to Nigerians using the Western narrative to um, manipulate the current situation on the ground. Hello, my people. Welcome once again. Do you know that this Ukrainian counterattack that everybody is hearing all over, all over Western media, that Ukraine is now counterattacking, that um, HIMARS uh, missile that America delivered, is giving a very dirty blow to Russia, blah, 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 blah. If you can recall, on the first day, Russia said that they are going to demilitarize Ukraine and denazify Ukraine. <laughs> As Russia declared this thing, the war started moving on. Now, Ukraine is counter-attacking the Russians. Even the president of Ukraine is promising his people that he is going to stop at Crimea. That they are going to regain every inch and corner of their territory. They won't leave any stone unturned. But should I tell you the gospel truth? This counter-attack that Ukraine started has turned that particular area to the, large, to the largest graveyard on planet. I don't know where the Ukrainians are getting the people they are pushing in the war front. Russians are grinding them. Dead bodies is everywhere. Body parts of human beings are flying up and down. Pieces of their vehicles are being teared apart. Oh my God. The question is this. The people they are pushing at the war front, are they people's fathers? Are they um, 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 people's children? Why should Ukraine send in such a disastrous plan knowing quite well that Russia has artillery firepower that surpass anything that is in their position in those territories. My people, as I'm talking to you now, do you know what I'm seeing in this Ukrainian war? The West are using Ukraine to find out the loophole on Russian military system of fighting. It came to my notice that the West don't bloody care. I mean, the West don't bloody care about Ukrainians. They don't care. Even though the entire Ukraine wipes out, they are using Ukraine as a chessboard 
where they are playing their chase with Russia. Because this counter-attack, do you know what I see? I saw in those counter-attack? It's like sending wave of, of military thinking that Russia will run out of artillery. Then the remaining military wave will now float in. You know, if you are watching this, uh, maybe Lots of Ring, or this new film that just came out, you will see how the war is being set up. We have millions of soldiers will be attacking, and you will be shooting until you start running out of ammo. That is what they are doing with Ukraine. Not knowing that Russia have planned this war to the extent that even they, they plan it, even though the West and America joined that war, they have more artillery to nearly wipe them out. You know? Oji, you know, if I see my people writing like, I don't like war. Why did Russia invade Ukraine? You ask these questions as if you just landed from another planet. As if you know nothing that has been happening in international politics. If I may return the question to you, Mohammed. Is that you? No, not Mohammed. Oj. If I will return this question to you, Oj, how many years have Russian president has been complaining on NATO encroachment into Russian own, um, I will call it terrain? Most of all, recall the Georgia war with Russia. How the West, including Israel, push in weapons, all sorts of weapons, to Georgia, promising them heaven and earth, they were crushed. Now, the same West start pivoting to Ukraine, Pumping weapons to Ukraine, training the Ukrainian soldiers, even taking. Do you know that Ukrainian soldiers participated in the Iraq War? Yes, the Ukrainian soldiers was among the military that America used to conquer Iraq. Every corner that America went to war, even in Afghanistan, Ukrainian soldiers were there, fighting with them, training them only to go and fight Russia. And Russia is seeing all these things and keep on demanding, please stop all these things because it's going to be it's going to bring bloodshed. Um, Chime is here. Not that I don't know. Maybe I don't know if he's trying to sell, but. I overheard from the Russians that the Polish people, you know that the that western part of Ukraine was Polish territory before Second World War. Russia took that territory after Second World War. And uh, Poland are now encroaching in those terrain. Signing all sorts of agreement with the government of Ukraine of today. Even signing something like a Ukrainian is not different from a Polish person. And Russia start raising alarm that Poland want to annex that particular territory from Ukraine. If Zelensky is collecting money to accept that agreement, the possibility is there because the people, what is happening to Ukraine now is something that happened in Soviet Union before Soviet Union collapsed. When Soviet Union started having financial problems, the West raised their hand 
Open your door. Let's come in and help you to fix your financial issues. Soviet Union opened their door. The West float in the way they are now in Ukraine. You may go and Google it by yourself to read for yourself. They did not come to help the Soviets solve their financial problem. Rather, they now came in and advised Russian oligarchs on how to steal state fund, state property, and run to London and bank it. They will give them what they call investment visa. If you come to London, you will see the largest Russian billionaires are living there. They can't go back to Russia. That was state money that was moved to London. The other ones went to America. Yes. Some of them went to France. That is what they are doing to Ukraine now. They have run, rushed in, tearing them apart, destroying the whole infrastructure, the whole system of Ukraine has crumbled. Imagine the budget of a country is being tunneled by another country. The way Ukraine is being managed today, I think if Russia wants to destroy Ukraine, there will be no Ukraine tomorrow. But let me tell you, this war is going to get hot. Ukraine president, U.S. even selling some weapons sent. Ah, uh, leave the selling of weapons. America is using Ukraine to test their different equipment. But I think Russia wants to stop all these things by because I saw badge of weapons, badge of weapons, vehicles. You know, most of you knows about the Crimea bridge that connected Russian mainland with Crimea. That bridge from the beginning is the longest bridge in Europe. From the beginning of that bridge to the end of the bridge, I saw different types of military equipment moving from Russian mainland to Russian island of Crimea. And from that area, those equipment is going to make its way to the war front. And it's going to get bloody. Why is it that way? Because the West are going all in. They have no other thing to attack Russia. They have, they have, in short, let me use this word. Russia is no longer disarming Ukraine. Russia have been systematically disarmed the European NATO military ally in Europe. As I'm talking to you now, sorry. Do you know that German armor tanker, they call it Leopard 2, has appeared in war front. Most of them has been damaged by Russian artillery. Nobody is seeing Ukrainian armor tank again. Now it's German artillery, German armor tanker is the one entering war front. What is it telling you? Russia, you know, many people may say that Russia is not gaining too much territory. But let me help you people a little. What I observe, Russia is not rushing to gain territory. Because I'm seeing the Russian system of war. They are not fighting the way the West fight. They break in, you kick doors, you go inside, you secure territory, you seize it, it's, uh, you know. Russians are not going to seize the Ukrainian territory. But Russia want to use Ukraine to disarm the whole NATO countries. These people have been tunneling a lot of weapons to Ukraine and all of them have been granted. All, all have been granted. Now it's German armor tanker. Maybe tomorrow, American armor tanker will appear. And all these things has never ever changed the status quo in that war front. Rather, the entire war front has become the largest graveyard on planet. They are granding Ukrainian soldiers in thousands, my people. Do you know what a Ukrainian soldier said? There is one Ukrainian soldier he, he, he surrendered to um, um, the Eastern Ukrainian military. 
he, he said that the worst thing in this war they are fighting, none of them has ever seen a Russian soldier in war front. But they are dying a highest number. You carry your AK-47 full of ammunition. You carry your vehicle. Enter war front. They are not seeing Russians. They have never seen Russians. But thousands of their soldiers are dying. But they are not seeing Russians. That is supremacy in artillery war. Supremacy in artillery war. Because artillery war, you don't come and be shooting with person. They are using this, their vacuum bomb. Even this guy cried and said, the world, he's in custody in Russia. But this guy said that the world should bound vacuum bomb. That they saw people that the vacuum bomb killed along the line. He said that this core, this core, this area, break out. Not from bomb explosion, but the bomb was sucking the lungs of soldiers, their lungs, from their nose. The lungs would blow this area, blow their face, and the lungs would just come out. Because the bomb, that vacuum bomb, will suck everything, the whole air that is in your lungs, tearing everything apart. The guy was crying that he don't know what their president Zelensky want to gain from this war. That even though America joined the war, they will never change the status quo. The Russians are using that place where they are to grant everything, equipment, and Ukrainian military. Even their barrier ground is reaching up to 25 kilometers long. Barrier ground, military barrier ground, new one. That the dead bodies that lies on, in the battlefield it's almost 30 to 40 times of the burial ground they, 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 they buried in Ukraine. What do the West want to achieve? But I will make a prediction this night. You see this Ukrainian war. The West are now pushing to ban Russians from entering Europe. Visa bound. That thing will not work. But where it will end is diplomatic ties with Europe will collapse. You will see that all Europe's may lose their embassies in Russia, and Russia will close all their embassies in Europe. And that friendship will be caught with razor blood. And that day, the Europe will wake up and understand what they did to themselves. Because... Do you know how this war started? America want to start selling their LNG to Europe. Claiming that Russia is seizing the entire LNG market and gas market in Europe. Accusing the NATO members they are funding Russia by buying the gas. If they will be able to cut the Russian gas that America is ready to supplement that gas coming from Russia. But should I tell you one thing? Some days ago, some American senators are now drafting a bill that will stop American oil companies from selling their product to Europe. That America need it. Now, ask yourself, what do America want to achieve in Europe? What do they want to achieve? America is going down financially, economically. They are going down. And China and Russia are cutting the tail of American hegemon, that is dollar. Dollar is gradually going to become worthless because, let me tell you, Russia has established their MIA card, MIA card in Iran. They have established the MIA card in India and they accepted India own um, 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 payment system. And Chinese payment system is already in those countries. And Russia is establishing its own in China. 
and some of this card this mere card is payment system is being established in south america too most of african countries are now establishing it do you know the meaning of this thing america is hegemon america is killing people with sanction their sanction is functioning because of payment transaction system this international um, 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 interbank um, um, messaging system they call iban russia has established their own china has established their own iran has established their own india has established their own and they are now interconnecting each other the worst case scenario why this war will also start in china because whosoever that want to kill dollar america will always take war to you bring war to your door as they kill gaddafi but they cannot fight russia direct they may poke to fight china because they have fought before and china lost and they believe in that old doctrine that they will still win why would they bring war to these areas because if these two countries succeed in establishing all this interbank messaging system it then means european american sanction will be worthless let me remind you europe place sanction on insurance companies that are insuring russian um, oil that's vessels that are carrying russian oil the insurance companies has been sanctioned. Russia has established its insurance company. India has established its insurance company. Um, Iran has established insurance company. China has established. <laughs> and now they are now discussing that their BRICS, these BRICS they are forming. I mean, China, Russia, India, South Africa, I think, the BRICS. Uh, which other country? Yeah. These bricks they are setting up. They want all the members of BRICS, their currency to become reserve currency on their own in their own basket. Meaning, you don't need to buy dollar to import this water. Like, like in Nigeria, a lot of airlines are functioning in Nigeria. A lot of airlines say they don't want to function again. They don't want to carry Nigerians again. Many people don't understand how the game works. You buy your tickets with Naira. And that Naira is converted to dollar. There is a stage it will reach. The company will demand their dollar. And the central bank of Nigeria will pay them with dollar. And they will go to their country and use it. Now, Russia, what Russia is doing... If you are doing business with them, you don't need dollar. You know, if you are doing business with them, you don't need dollar. If China and India is doing business, they need their currency. If South Africa is buying from Russia, they buy with their local currency. And their interbank transaction system will no longer pass through international interbank system called IBAN. It will now pass through MIA system, Chinese system, India system, or Iran system. Nobody will dominate like America dominated the um, IBAN. They are making in a way that all the BRICS will have different systems they will be using to transact their business with that dollar. And when countries are no longer demanding dollar, and you know that dollar has been printed as S. And if those things start, even though you print it to 50 cent, and nobody wants to ask you if it's for sale, it's becoming quantum. You know what is quantum? Instead of the money flying around, like Nigeria, if, and, uh, and uh, you using dollar to do business, America can control your growth. Because if you need SS dollar to do more business to grow, they will make that dollar scarce in your country until that your business will collapse. 
But now, if you are doing business with your own currency, it will, sky is your limit. Nobody will dictate. Nobody will. Nobody will know. Nobody will know who is buying what. You know, before every transaction you make, New York knows about every transaction that is going around the world because they are using IBAN. But now, New York will be sitting, business will be going, and they know nothing about it. Nothing is passing through New York again. Yes. And the Lloyd in London that do finance cargo commodities will be sitting there. Commodities will be going from Russia to any part of the world without them knowing who bought it, where the cargo is coming from, who owned the ship. Because you can only know that if you seek to insure your cargo from their own. But all these countries, Russia, India, all of them has already today establish their own insurance companies oh boy there is fire on the mountain and as i'm talking to you now this russia that america is using ukraine to fight let me tell you something whenever that america start killing people that cannot fight back nature always fight america Nature always fight America. If it's not tornado, it will be flood. Nature always attack America. But now, nature will not attack America. But there will be civil war in the United States. Mark today's world. Today's date is what? There will be civil war in America. It will not take long. It won't take long. You will see that civil war because all the game that America plays outside the country, they played it in Africa, manipulate election, kick president out, do this, do that. They have been taking, they have started taking that techniques back to America. And in a little time, it will explode there. So what I'm about to tell you is that don't listen to those people that are telling you that Russia is losing the war. Russia is not fighting to secure every territory. They are using where they are to grant everything. Do you know how many thousands of Ukrainian soldiers Russia will retreat and the West will be shouting, hey, Ukraine is making gain. Before you know it, they will be surrendered. No one will escape. And they will open another side. Ukraine will law in. They will loyal Ukrainian in. They will surrender them. Now it's Kherson. This is a Kherson fight now. They will allow you. You will see Russians will pull. Ukraine will build, will build what they call Pantum Bridge. That's military bridge. They will allow them, their soldiers, their equipment, everything will come in. The Russian jet will go and bomb that Pantum Bridge so that they cannot be able to run back again. And they will do what? They will wipe them. And Ukraine will come back again, and Russia will open again, and they will low in and they wipe them. I call it the largest graveyard on planet. Thank you, my people. That's all I have for you. Bye-bye for now.